Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add donation alerts to your stream in OBS. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. This link is going to be for Streamlabs. And the first thing you want to do is log in to get started. And we're going to be linking Streamlabs with our Twitch. Now I've used Streamlabs a couple of times in the past for different alerts and different stuff like that. So I'm going to leave a link down below to my Twitch playlist tutorial if you want to check out some other stuff. But if this is going to be your first time logging into Streamlabs, you may have to authorize your account. Just authorize login and the first time you log in, you'll see this dashboard. It's really clean, gives you a lot of valuable information about your Twitch. But from here, we're going to be coming to our left underneath our dashboard and we're going to be looking for donation settings. So this is the very first thing we need to do in Streamlabs is link one of our existing accounts. So example, PayPal, credit cards, unit pay.ru or skrill and we're going to need to link one of these to our streamlabs account and then we're going to be able to get donations through streamlabs which will automatically redirect to our account so in this case streamlabs is going to act like a third party in the middle it's going to take the donation alert and be able to send it to your stream so once you actually have one of your accounts linked for example we're going to use paypal in this case all you want to do is enter your email into the paypal click submit then you want to grab the URL on the top, which is right here, streamlabs.com slash scoby125, or whatever your URL will be. It will depend on whatever your username is for Streamlabs. And then have people donate to this URL, which when we go to this URL, we can come in here and then it'll have a box up here saying how much you want to donate and what method you want to use to donate. You'll also get a preview of what it'll look like when your message is here. And we can change a couple settings in Streamlabs to enable a couple of different things I'm going to go show you now. But before you do any of that, you want to have all this set up to make sure your PayPal, your Skrill or whatever method you want to use of receiving money is enabled first on Streamlabs. So then we can get on to our next step and start editing some of the settings that come up on your stream once you get a donation. So we're going to be going back Back to our Streamlabs page and we're going to be opening up our widgets on the bottom left and we're going to be coming to our alert box. Once your alert box is open, we're going to come down here beside our general settings and we're going to be looking for the donations tab. We have a bunch of different options to go through and edit to be able to edit the alert that comes up on screen when we get a donation. So the first thing we have to do is enable the donation alerts, which we can do by clicking enable right here or disable if you wish. The second thing we can do is edit the layout, which we can have the image on top with the text on the bottom, the text on top of the image or the text to the side. And of course you can use GIFs here, which I'll show you later on. The next thing we have is the alert animation. And we have a couple of default options here with Streamlabs. You can edit whichever one of these you wish. If we expand this box right here, we have our text to speech option, which we can enable and disable here if we want. We can also add a minimum donation required for this. So say for example, if you want to enable it, but you want to have a $10 minimum donation, you can set that up here. You can have the voice to whatever language you wish to read it out in. Of course, you've got a bunch of different options here. For me, I'm just going to leave it for English, for example. You have spam security here, which you can enable to a couple different options to none low, medium, or high. Of course, you can play around with this. This is a little bit of trial and error. I'd recommend leaving this low to none, but it's a little bit of playing around with. It really depends on how much spam you're getting. Underneath this, you have the volume of the actual text to speak. This is also a little bit of trial and error, but I'll show you how to test this in a little bit. Underneath here, we have the minimum amount to just have an alert. So if you want to have a minimum amount before an alert even comes up on screen, you can enable that here also. Underneath here, we have the message that'll pop up. We have the two brackets here with the name. That'll be the name of the user who donated. And then to the right, we have the amount, which is going to be the amount that they actually donated. You can play around with this if you wish. Underneath this, then we have the text animation and the text animation is going to determine how the text will flow and wave on screen. It'll give a little example on the right hand side to show you exactly what it'll look like. So you can play around with this, see what works for you, see what you kind of enjoy. It's really just a matter of experimenting to see what works for you. The next thing we can look at is the image. We can also add GIFs in here to change the GIF. We can click change media. You can upload your old file if you wish, but thankfully Streamlabs also has a bunch of stock images and stock files that you can play around with and check out. The next thing we can look at is the sound. And once again, if you want to change the sound, you can click change media. You can upload your own sounds if you wish. And you also have a bunch of stock images and sounds on here you can play around with also. Next thing we can look at is the sound volume, currently set on 50%. This is a little bit of trial and error as well to play around with, see what works for your stream. You don't want it too loud or too low. So experiment, see what works for you. We have the alert duration, which is gonna determine how long the alert will stay on screen. We have the alert text delay, which is gonna determine the delay of the text on screen. You can set this up if you wish. Usually I'd recommend leaving this on zero. We can enable custom HTML and CSS if you don't wanna use the on-screen stuff. And if you know how to use CSS and HTML, if you really wanna customize, and this case I'm gonna disable it. I'd recommend leaving this off for most people unless you really know how to use HTML and CSS. 
I don't here we have a couple more options that we can expand. First thing here is the donation gifts. If you want to enable the tipper to be able to upload their own GIF or use a GIF from GIFCAT, for example, you can do that in this. I'm going to be closing this down. We also have a donator message settings. You can change a couple different things here if you want it to be in a different font, if you want to allow Twitch emotes, if you want to change the size and weight of the text, text color, etc. You can do that all in here. Underneath this, then we have the font settings. So if you want to change the font for the default text that comes up on screen, whereas the donator message settings will determine the message that the donator uses when they give a donation. So you can change the font types here to give, for example, open sans for the donator message font. And if you want to use a different font here, say Olio script, just so they look different. So you can tell, you can say this is the donation text and the other message is going to be what the donator actually said. And the last thing we can do is add a variation. Now variation can happen over certain conditions. If we look at our conditions here, we can open this down. We can say it randomly happens. So what we can do is have randomly chosen donations who get maybe different texts, different gifts or whatever you want. You can also set conditions of a donation amount for at least amount is exactly our donation is the largest on the stream. So if you want to set up different donation levels where if a user donates more than $25, they get a cooler gift or some extra things that they can get that you won't be able to get on the base donations. Or if you want to set up a donation that's the largest on the stream, you can also set up different variation effects for that. I think this is a cool little feature that Streamlabs offers also. Once you've edited all the settings you want to edit and you're ready to move on to the next step, simply click save settings at the very bottom and we're going to scroll back up to the top and we're going to click show widget URL. But what we're going to want to do is highlight and copy this widget URL. We're going to be using this for OBS later. But before we jump back into OBS, we can really easily, thankfully in Streamlabs, test what all of our settings look like. So if we look over to the right, we see we have a copy button, but we also have a launch button. If we click this launch button open, it will open up a small box that will have all of the settings that we have just enabled here for us to test out in our actual browser. So what I can do is bring our windows left to right of each other so we can see them in full screen. And if we click test donation in our Streamlabs browser, it will show an example of what it will look like over here. And this is really great because it shows an example of what our donations will look like. It will also give you a quick text to speech example, depending on the amount. Plus it's really, really easy to go back and change anytime without having to test an OBS. And it gives a really quick example test period right here. So once you've all this done, we're going to be taking our copied widget URL to OBS. You can create a new scene if you wish. I have a new scene here called donations. I just have a random display capture. But what we want to do is come down to our sources, click the plus box right here, and we're going to be adding a browser source. You can give it a name if you wish. I'm going to be naming it donation source. I'm going to be clicking OK. And from here, we're going to be copying our URL that we just copied from our browser to the URL here. You can change the width and height if you wish here. Also, I recommend whatever you're going to be setting it to, setting it here, because if you click and drag the red boxes in OBS, the quality can be lost a little bit. So whatever you want to use here, you can do it. Set the FPS to whatever you're streaming at. So for example, I stream at 60, so I'm going to set the FPS to 60. And once again here, if you want to use some CSS to customize it yourself, you can do that also. What I'm going to be doing is clicking OK. And then you're going to notice you're going to be left with this red transparent box in OBS. And this is where our alert donations are going to show up. So if we tab back into our Chrome, and if we click test donation one more time and click back into our OBS, we'll see the example will show up here now instead. And it's as easy as that to add donation alerts to your stream. This one's a little bit more complicated because there's a couple of more steps to do, but it's still really, really easy to do. And like I said, if you want to check out some other Twitch alerts, I'm going to leave a link down below to my playlist of OBS tutorials if you want to check those out. And I'm also going to leave a link down below to my PayPal where you won't see an alert donation on screen, but you will make me happy on the inside. But of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. Until next time, guys, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.